troubles for the ruling of Progressive Congress as a faction of the new PDP bloc in the party disagrees with the earlier stands of the Baraje group. And Senator Avia Omar Gege will be resuming plenary tomorrow in what suggests a new showdown with his colleagues. And thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Kimbale, at Channels Television Global Headquarters in Lagos. Let's begin uh, tonight with stories coming from uh, the National Assembly, where the senator that was uh, suspended, Senator Ovioma Gege, says it will be resuming tomorrow. He says when the Senate resumes tomorrow, it will join its colleagues at plenary. The lawmaker representing Delta Central Senatorial District, Senator Omar Agege, said despite the appeal filed by the Senate and its president, Bukola Saraki, against the court ruling, he will be resuming duties. Why I should not show up tomorrow? Uh, if I decide to show up tomorrow, you'll be there. But that would be on advice of counsel. But yes, uh, uh, more likely than not, I'll be in the Senate tomorrow. I'm also aware that uh, uh, they've gone ahead to file uh, an application for stay of the judgment, uh, but that, as you know, Hello. is an equitable relief. And if you understand uh, the predicate of that judgment, that judgment was not given to me uh, on the merits. It was given to me uh, on the understanding that my action was pending in court, known to the Senate and known to the Senate President, but notwithstanding that knowledge, he proceeded to purportedly suspend me. And from one senator speaking to another, Senator Magnus Abe is asking his party, APC, to distance itself from what he calls the show of shame going on in River State. He said it has become clear that the All Progressive Congress has reached a point where it must take a decision either to live up to the core values of their leader, President Muhammad Buhari, and do the right thing or abandon those values and destroy the soul in order to please a man. There was absolutely nothing like a Congress in River State because the people who would have contested in the so-called Congresses, they still have their tellers. They couldn't get forms. It was about 4 o'clock when people were already posting pictures that they have finished Congress, oh, Congress was successful, that I heard an announcement on the radio from the chairman of the committee that came in from Abuja saying that people who had tellers we seem to have uh, a wrong soundbite for you. We will give you wh uh, what Senator Magnus Abe said at an earlier press conference today in Abuja, the nation's capital. Well, let's move on. We will uh, perhaps bring you that soundbite later on. The APC said it has received with great shock and embarrassment the news that a former acting chairman of the PDP, Alaji Kau Baraje, led four others to deliver a letter they claimed on behalf of the NPDP, the new PDP that is, which is defunct and has long dissolved into the APC during the 2013 merger. In the letter, Baraje said that members of the then NPDP group are being marginalized, maltreated and witch-hunted in the APC and requested for an urgent meeting with the party and Mr. President within one week. So that's our major focus on the program tonight. But let's tell you about the fact that the crisis rocking the APC is perhaps what is given some leaders of the party some concern. But some, some of them believe that they will overcome that crisis. We had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the governor of Nasarawa State, Tankwal Makura, and this has his views on the crisis rocking the APC. You already have a lot of crises across the state, from Imo State to River State to Delta State, a huge crises on the, on, the, on, the, on the party's end. And it looks so much that as team that brought your party into power in 2019, your party seems to have lost that. 
I mean, this is going to be an immediate election, uh, well, a pre-election before the main election in 2019. Are you afraid that your party might be in trouble? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me make this point. If you take your mind back to the uh, preambles and the arrangements and uh, what culminated in the merger, you find that there are different tendencies that dissolve and all came to what we call the national focus. Never in the history of this country had such large number of independent political entities with different tendencies come together to dissolve their tendencies, idiosyncrasies, and pursue one united national uh, uh, objective. So with this kind of tendency, you should expect the background of people and given the preponderance of support of, uh, uh, of, 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 of uh, APC across uh, the, the country. You should expect all this rancor is because we have gathered people, strange bad failures that have come to be brothers and sisters under one roof. I think your party is imploding in some way. Uh, I see some kind of implosion in your party in some way. Uh, if you look at it, uh, 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 former governor of Oshun State, Olaguso Yunola, has left the party. Uh, the, uh, uh, Kaubaraje, one of the people who led the new PDP, are threatening to leave the APC. And it looks so much to me that the connections and the web of these people politically is more than the, what we see on the surface. These people are highly connected. When they moved, they shifted the, 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 the grace over PDP and they moved it over to APC. Are you seeing that that kind of grace or that kind of shift or revolution is nearing or knocking at the door of APC? No, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give us in the APC any sleepless night. Really? Because as other people are expressing their intention to move out of the party, another set of very credible and well-grounded politicians are moving into the APC. So the equation is, is balanced. And you think if, if President Buhari wins the ticket of your party, yeah. he will win the general election? Do you think so? Oh, definitely. Really? You oh. think he's a sellable candidate? Sorry? Buhari, do you think he's a sellable candidate? Oh, for highly sellable. Highly sellable. Don't forget, Buhari had come a long way. He had participated in this exercise over time. But let's look at his participation from 20, 20, 2011. Look at the amount of legitimacy, the support, the tumultuous uh, uh, fans and, and supporters that he had. In the last election before 2012, uh, 2015, he had 12 million votes. And you cannot tell me that these 12 million votes have depreciated. If anything, we have increasing number. Governor Tanko Amakura, who is succeeding you in Nasarawa State? Only God knows. You don't know? I don't know. Do you, but do you have a favorite candidate? I, I don't have From one. From what we hear, we do know that you have some names, apart, well, a name <laughs> close to your chest. Do you want to tell Nigerians who the, that person is? Yes, I have a favorite candidate. Who is that person? The very candidate that has the most robust support of the entire people of Nassau State. That would be my favorite candidate. Do you believe that the, the, the governorship seat or the position should go to another central district? Um, much as there is clamor for uh, a kind of uh, equal opportunity for all the zones, uh, we are living in a democratic setting. Uh, much as it is fair to give every part of the state the opportunity to also uh, head the state so that that part of the state would co put its own contribution on the table. So you are running for Senate in 2019? So they say. Is that what you are going to do? I, I have been uh, inundated with a lot of requests and uh, uh, encouragement to, to gun for Senate. Um, I have not taken a decision yet, but at a proper time, uh, when I uh, am done with uh, the most important thing before me, uh, I will call a stakeholders meeting to 
maybe sound their opinion. If it's uh, in their uh, wisdom, feel I should, I should go for Senate, why not? Well, then that's uh, there for you. The one on one interview with the governor of uh, Nassau State, Tanko Al Makura, about the APC crisis and uh, who succeeds in, in Nassau State.